Good morning and welcome to day three of our holiday in Lorette de Mar. And the weather's looking like this today, a bit murky, it's definitely cool. It's about 9.45, I'm sort of up and dressed, not really properly dressed. Kind of scragged my hair together for breakfast, so we're gonna go down and have breakfast. I've been editing in bed actually for about an hour while my boyfriend's been dozing. We've been drinking tea and it's been very pleasant. Isabel's not feeling the best, she's still asleep, so she doesn't wanna to come to breakfast but there are snacks available in the bar later and when breakfast is finished so she can just eat later if she wants to. Anyway, breakfast. <laughs> is my first course of breakfast. Scrambled eggs, a bit of salad, fried tomatoes. That's a bit of broccoli and batter, so I just got one to try it. These eggs are very nice. They're freshly made up the top in the hot counter by the man who was there stirring them up and adding them. Mmm, I'm wolfing them down, really good. It's thinning out in here at the moment because it's coming up to 10.15, which is when breakfast ends, so. I want some of those freshly cooked pancakes on the top. I'm gonna have to get in quick. They're putting everything away already. So I've quickly got myself a bit of dessert, breakfast, breakfast dessert while I'm on holiday. I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna take two because they're quite small. Oh, damn it. Just got that on the floor, right. I'll turn the camera off to deal with that. <laughs> That guy, when I was giving him the pancake to put in the bin, dolloped another two on my plate. I can't eat all that. Oh, I'll see if IB wants some now, because I think he might have lost his chance. IB, do you want some pancakes? Because he's just dolloped an extra two on my plate for me. <laughs> I went and got myself another coffee quick before they shut the machine down. So what I've figured out is they say breakfast ends at 10.15, but it seems to me that at 10 o'clock they are clearing away whole trays full of things. So you need to definitely make it down in time to get everything on your plate before that happens. <laughs> anyway, I've got too many pancakes, but I think Ivy's gonna give me a hand with them. It's emptied right out in here now. There's hardly anybody in, so I can do a bit of filming. That bit over there, those are drink dispensers, and there's also a bar area where you order your drinks. At the end there, that's where you've got your freshly cooked stuff, which is being cooked as you go up. So he puts it on the side and you can take it from there. And there we have all the other trays of things. We're leaving now. Now the plan is, I'm gonna have a shower first and then he's gonna have a shower. And the reason we do it in that order is because I've got to dry my hair and stuff and he hasn't, so it takes me a bit longer to get ready afterwards. So that's why we're doing it that way around. All right, time for the daily exercise. We are not great fans of the five flights of stairs. There is a lift, but we're trying to be fit and healthy, you see, because we've eaten 17 times our own body weight at every meal three times a day, plus the odd cafe cake, so, you know. Trying to do the stairs at least once a day, not twice. <laughs> Yay! Number five, we made it! <sighs> I've uh, schnaffled a croissant for my daughter, so I shall deliver that to her now. It's this windy today. We're heading down to the beach, aren't we? We're gonna carry on on that walk that we started last night, but we didn't do all of it because we got hungry and had to come home for dinner. We're gonna go in that supermarket because I want to buy some pocket hankies. There's a downstairs. Oh, I can see loads of wine down there. So, oh, I can't resist. I want to go and have a look. What am I like? I can see what will happen. We'll have to cut off, walk short through hunger again because we'll have got sidetracked in the supermarket again and ended up going later again. <laughs> oh, blimey. Liquors, martini, caves. Oh, teas. Coconut latte. I've had them. They're not that. Well, they're all right. Bonker. <laughs> I'll have some bonka, please. Loads of coffee. I wonder if I should bring some coffee back. Won't be buying bulky things here. Oh, oh, oh. oh my word, look. Ah, sin asuka. That's what we want, but we've got loads to use up and we won't use it before we go now, so no point in getting any different. But loads of milks. Oh, I can't believe we didn't even come down here yesterday. 
What's this? Pâtés or something? Oh, that's a vegan one, whatever that is. What's that? Pasta. Totally getting distracted. Wow, great. It's supposed to be buying tissues. San Miguel. 2 95 for six. It's a bit cheap in the UK. 59 cents for one. 33 centilitre can like that. Like, you know, the can of Coke size one. It's more expensive for Coke. Like, 84 for Coke. 59 for beer. I live in the wrong country. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm getting totally distracted. I only came in for tissues. <laughs> what? I think that's 6.96 for 12 cans. Oh, blimey. Oh, well done. Thank you very much. How much? 146. That'll do nicely. Thank you very much, Ivy. We better go because we're just going to be not wanting to leave. I love looking around supermarkets and other countries. There's a station there. Washing powder ahead. Look. Anyway, I've got to go. We're going to go and do a refreshing and invigorating cliff top walk and I shall film from where we left off with it yesterday in the last vlog. I think I've been having a bit of an ignoramus moment. I was just chatting to Ivy about this. I was saying to him, if somebody told me that all the written language that we've seen out and about was not Spanish, but was in fact another dialect, I wouldn't be surprised. And he's agreeing now. So I think at some point I'm going to find a load of it and I'm going to type it into Google Translate on the detect language setting and see what it comes up with. But he says we're in Catalonia, so yeah. maybe it's Catalan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How has it taken me? <laughs> I didn't even know. Oh dear, what am I like? Crossing over the ropes, there's a big thing in the way. That big thing, in fact, is swinging a pallet around. Come down to the front again, well almost. There's a kids play area there, like a pirate ship, I won't film them. Hey look, there he goes, look. Right at the top of that great big building over there. This is a mobile crane, isn't it, that is? You see those worky boys have got like a head mask as if it's freezing cold like in the winter. Well they probably do think it's cold today. Can't resist just stopping and looking at the soothing waves for a minute before we head on. Look at that wind. Like, oh, it stopped. <laughs> that always happens. I'm like, oh, let's get a lovely shot of the daisy things blowing in the wind and then they stop. I'm stopping to have a look at the palm trees because they're exotic to me. Look, they're kind of like all furry down the bottom. I'm not going to touch it in case a dog has winged. And then it's like vertical grooves. And then this starts, this crissy crossy thing. I've just had a quick loo stop in this loo here. In that loo there and I can tell you it wasn't the best toilet experience I've ever had. They were locked yesterday as well when I went in there. Well, I didn't go in there because it was locked, but there's another one further over. It's not that they're bad toilets but somebody has made a mess in there, shall we say. Yeah, anyway, I managed. Another lady just opened the door, I was observing, I was saying to IB, I bet she puts her head in and comes straight out. That's exactly what she did too. IB's just picked me up a Coke Zero, a nice cold one from a shop. And we're just gonna sit here on this wall and uh, taking the lovely view of the toilet block, well, and everything else, and uh, have a drink and then head off up there. And I'll probably pick up the camera at the point from which I left off yesterday when we turned around and went back prematurely. I've just noticed that that restaurant opposite is called the Orient Express and it's kind of dressed up like a train camp carriage isn't it? I feel rain as I'm sitting here now. I've got an umbrella. It's a bit windy though. Oh, it's a bus. I like buses. I love going on public transport. I haven't really done a lot here. Well any. I've just noticed the lifeguards. I don't know if they've been there all week. Look there's green flag flying. There have been some lovely crashing waves coming up. They've stopped now. Can you see that steep steep drop off though? The sand just suddenly slopes down really really a lot. And I haven't gone right down there yet I must admit. Maybe we will. We've come up, it's almost where we were yesterday. Oh, hello, found a little caterpillar. 
he's just been photographing me vlogging and he said oh how the times have changed because normally I'm photographing him taking work calls on holiday and that said I'm about to take a work call right now he's got one incoming <laughs> we're back up to this bar again where we came to yesterday we didn't have a drink or anything oh look a film around IB is behind the tree <laughs> these walks we've been doing along the sea edge are very staircasey and I would say they are easy from a you don't really have to think about where to put your feet too much but you know there's no like scrambling up earth banks with loose debris or anything like that or having to grab onto rocks to hold on it's easy but it's not easy as in it's really strenuous <sighs> look we've climbed up this far so far and we're carrying on oh it's going oh it's going woody that way uh but looks like we're going up these wooden steps next that, that might be the path we're hoping to come across a castle. It was signposted. Oh, got a bit of a plateau <laughs> and a little lookout spot. Let's go and look out. I think all we're going to see is the sea though. God, what a sight. Oh, I just, I don't know why I get excited when I see waves crashing on rocks. I've spotted the castle anyway there on yonder hill. Look, the flags all blowing in the wind. We've rounded a bend and there's that castle. Look a little bit closer. I think we're gonna reach it. Of course, getting to the castle involves going up more steps. <sighs> We've come to a points of interest sign. I shall make a shot of it just in case anybody wants to freeze the shot and read it. This is where we are, which is here. I found another board, but look at this. That's what it was looking like because it got wrecked in 1923, but they had some old images, so they have been able to restore it. Look. Oh, is that what it looks like inside? Spiral staircase. Oh, that says 1920 there, but it said it got wrecked in 1923. Yeah, I'll just put this on here, and if you want to read it, you can. And again, you can freeze that to read if you're interested. The opening hours does not include April, so I think we can't get in. But if you are here during these times, look, it's currently 2022 that I'm filming this. Uh, three euros for an adult, reduction for 150, and under 12s free. It's up there behind the tree. You can see the flag flapping about. It's getting windier and windier. Yeah, it's number 45 apparently, whatever it is. Interesting looking building there. Wondering if it's a dwelling. We've been doing a big arc and we've come back along a much easier route. <laughs> no steps, just tarmac and that steppy route is just, it's just by there. If you can see those people moving there on it. And that there is the back of the bar that we passed with all the music playing. We're gonna continue on now. Oh, there's the lady, look. The lady, the Lorette de Mar lady statue, there she is, look. Being photographed. Look at these ants, IB has noticed them. They are navigating their way across this That's great. Right. Quite large, there's one coming to you, I hope there's no Oh, where? Oh, there. That one is going towards you, my dear, not me. Oh, 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 oh it's turned around. Ah. So many of them. Yes, by there. I wonder why they're attracted, since they're coming from over there, why are they attracted to that, to then just across it? I don't know, maybe there's something sweet down there. Oh, gang of them. It's not there, it's fine. I was just totally it's psychosomatic. Hello! Oh, what's going on with that leaf? Is that blowing in the wind? Or has it got an ant under it going, Heave! No, it's just the wind. Oh, I feel another itch on my leg. I'm just, I tell you what, I'm totally imagining I've got ants at my legs. But <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> oh, I hope they haven't worked their way up that far in that short amount of time. IB just said, do you want a coffee? And I said, yeah. I suppose I should have said yes, please. But anyway, mm. he just nearly fell down the steps. <laughs> this is pretty, isn't it? So we're going to this bar that we've walked past twice already, yesterday and today. This one here. And we're gonna get a little coffee. A very scenic one. 
exit in our app. Oh, uh, out, I guess. We can watch the waves crashing on that rock over there. Here's a coffee with a view. I wonder how much of that 587 kilometres is cliff walk, you know, how much is just... Yeah. I mean, the Wales coastal path, much, it's got to be the same, really, because of the nature of coastal paths. Yeah. Stuff. And there's Mrs Lorette up there on the hill. The bill came to 560, so those coffees were 280 each. I've just done a little bit of googling and asked what language is spoken in Lorette de Mar, and it says here, look, in Lorette de Mar, like the rest of Catalonia, the official languages are Catalan and Spanish. So there we are. I wasn't going insane. I can testify that the coffee is very nice indeed. And he came with a jug of hot milk, didn't he? And he mm. came with the coffees ready poured, and then he poured the hot milk in for us out of his jug. That was really nice. We are heading back to the hotel now to meet Isabel and have lunch together. That's where we were sitting by there, somewhere there anyway. Kids are all out, playing on the rocks, scrambling about and exploring. There's a boat there. We thought about going on a boat tour, but I don't think we are, but we thought about it. It's gone cooler and windier still, and that water's getting pretty choppy. Look how lovely and clear it is though. Here we are, back at the hotel. I am gonna end this vlog here and pick it up after lunch. So thank you so much for watching this one. Please give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.